Welcome to Kermit Uncut. Here are three of my favorite jokes. What do you call someone who hangs around with musicians? A drummer. How do you know when there's a drummer at your door? Knocks three times and comes in late. How do you make a drummer happy? Who cares? I reel these old jokes out because Whiplash has just come out on DVD, as you probably know, won an Oscar for J.K. Simmons at the Academy Awards earlier on this year. And it's a terrific film, which nominally is about drumming. Of course, actually, it's about a lot more than that. But I thought this was a rare opportunity to do my top five drumming movies. So straight in at number five, Slade in Flame. Now, I know what you're going to say, that's not a drumming movie. Well, oddly enough, it is. I mean, for my money, it's the Citizen Kane of British pop movies. And the story is seen from the perspective of Don Powell's drummer. At the very, very beginning, we see Don Powell going to an audition which kicks all of the action into gear. In fact, the guy before him fails the audition because, as Alan Lake says, he's not exactly Gene Krupa, is he? On which note... At number four, the Gene Krupa story from 1959. Sal Mineo, as the legendary Gene Krupa, sold under the extraordinary tagline that he hammered out the savage tempo of the jazz era, fueled, according to this film, by a large amount of Mary Jane. At number three, I never knowingly miss an opportunity to quote Spinal Tap, and after all, who would? The thing that Tap are most famous for? The death of their various drummers. The Thamesman's drummer, who died in a bizarre gardening accident. Or Peter James Bond, who spontaneously combusted during a festival at the Isle of Lucy. Spinal Tap has a lot going for it, but strange drummer deaths is one of the best. Nothing was left. It was, face. Well, there was. It's that, true. This, this truly did happen. There was a little green globule on his drum seat. It's like a stain, really. It was, it was a a small of a stain in a globule, yeah. actually. And you know, it was several, you know, dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. It's just not really widely reported. Right. Yeah. At number two. Whiplash. Now, as I said before, Whiplash is nominally a film about drummers, but actually it's a war movie. For my money, it's Full Metal High Hat, with J.K. Simmons giving Lou Gossett Jr. and R. Lee Ermey a run for their drill sergeant money. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference! All of which brings us to the number one spot, the top of the tree when it comes to best drumming movies of all time. There really is only one choice. I'm talking, of course, about Jay Bulger's terrific documentary, Beware of Mr. Baker. It tells the story of Ginger Baker using archive and interviews and indeed animation. And Jay Bulger really gets under the skin of his central subject, somebody who's very difficult to like, but impossible not to be impressed by. But what makes the documentary is very early on, Ginger Baker is seen striking his interviewer across the nose with a cane, drawing blood. I mean, that is pure documentary gold. Ginger Baker is hitting him. the nose. You also have snippets from old films like Gonks Go Beat. I mean, everyone's forgotten what a weirdie that is. And frankly, I think that should probably be in this chart too. So there we are, beware of Mr. Baker at the top of the tree. As I said, perhaps not the easiest man in the world to like. As Jack Bruce had it, he's the best Ginger Baker in the world. So there you have it, my list of top five movies about drummers. And frankly, it wasn't a huge field to choose from, but what have I missed? What are your favorites? What have I overlooked? Let me know. Oopsie daisy, forgot my jacket.